Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, got kind of bored, so I decided to go ahead and make another video. Basically, this time, I just kind of wanted to, I guess, say some things and uh, talk about different stuff. Um, the, the basic thing is, you know, I, I've come to realize that sometimes, you know, people can't afford to do things. Like, uh, fix their car, for example. You know, that's, that's one of the, you know, top priorities of anybody is to fix their car. But, you know, when, uh, stuff is, you know, when money's tight and stuff is rough, and you got no choice to hold off on fixing it. And, and you know, like, uh, Places like where I live, they tag vehicles if they don't move in a certain time frame or if they have expired plates. Uh, and, you know, I can understand the expired plates, but I mean, you know, just because the car doesn't move for a few months doesn't mean it doesn't run and drive. Uh, you know, some cars could have mechanical problems, an uh, alternator could be bad, and they just don't understand or know that it's bad and they haven't had time to take it to a mechanic or have someone look at it that can officially tell you if the alternator and battery could put you know stuff like that that actually irritates me when uh, apartment complexes or housing divisions you know they have a courtesy officer or something tags your car and marks it for tow because you can't afford to fix it right off that's actually one thing that that does bother me to be quite honest I mean you know you see people getting pulled over all the time sometimes just for a busted headlight or a busted tail light or just, you know, something's not working right, you know, tail lights out or something, you know, or headlights out, you know, you get my drift. Uh you, you know, yeah, I know that's a safety hazard. And maybe they're not able to get it fixed right off, you know. Sometimes money's tight. As I said before, it just all depends. But that, the apartment complex and housing addition issue, that you know, that's just one of my, you know, biggest pet peeves, I guess you could say, is that I, I just dislike it when they do that shit. Or, you know, like, uh, you know, where my grandmother parks, she parks in a uh, handicapped space, but, uh, you know, she's been ticketed twice for parking in her own handicapped space. And that's only because she forgot her tag in the window. Now, both tickets were thrown out because, you know, we sent copies of the the uh, the tag to the place and everything, and they threw them out because they knew that we parked there. And this dude that gave us the tickets, this officer, knew we had parked there. He had been here for over six months, and he knew we had been parking there since they installed that. Yeah, but did he give a fuck? No. No, no. Never gave a fuck. He just wanted to write that ticket and try to fill his quota. That's all he wanted to do. And he also, I, I also know that they get paid per tag. So, you know, they tag a vehicle, they get paid for it. And they got to keep track of which cars and trucks they tag. So, you know, they earn a certain amount of money when they tag them. That's just ridiculous. I know it's I know it's a job, but I mean, you know, people are just doing their jobs, but when it boils down to the point, you know, when you try to, you know, tell people, you know, hey, I ain't got the money to do this right now, just leave it alone, man. I'll fix it. Just give me time to get the money. I'll fix it, you know? But they never listen to reason. Hell no, they never listen to reason. I don't even know how long this is going to be. <laughs> But anyways, um, I'll probably continue on a longer one after this one. I'll probably make that too. So uh, it just it gets irritating. It it really does. I just some shit like that just pisses me off. Me, you know, just can't 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 seem to. You know, uh, grasp it, I guess, you know what I'm trying to say? That's some shit. But we'll continue talking about this in a while. Um, what else was I going to talk about? You know, there's, there's, there's other stuff that, uh, you know, could irritate me like that. I mean, 
you know, like driving on the highway or something. I know, it, know it seems stupid, but you know, if you're keeping up with traffic, there's a car in front of you, a car beside you, and a car behind you. You know, and then the car beside you's pulling up, and the other car behind you's getting in the other lane to go around you. You know, all of a sudden, who's the one that gets pulled over? You. Yeah, that's right. Get pulled over. Oh, you were speeding. I'm sure. Why don't you just take a look at your dash cam footage? Mm. You'll see there's about uh, three cars passing me. I'm going to speed limit. I know better. But of course, no, well, we got the radar proof. Yeah, you hit another car, guarantee you. And that's the kind of shit that, you know, can really piss people off in a day. You know, you try to keep up with traffic and, oh, they nail your ass. And especially if you're in a sports car, like a Corvette, Firebird, Camaro. I mean, you know, anything like that, that's sporty or muscle looking, they'll nail you for it. But, um, I don't know, this is to be continued. Peace out.